Usually. Next 12 here, and we're live. The first balls have been thrown. Hello, this is uh, Paul Graham with Bob Lee from Lita Lanes in Nash, New Hampshire. This is a U.S. Inter West Invitational. Day three of teams. First of two strings here on 35 and 36. On the right side is Kevin Paddington of Townsend, Mass. 112 league average starts over the 10. Wayne Springfield starts over the spare on 35. League average of 118 from Malden, Massachusetts. Team USA coming in at 26 and 40. I didn't get New England Flooring's record yet. And seven drops, some wood to help. We're right, at the, right around 500 to start the day, but we'll find out how they've been doing. Wayne Springfield gets four on the spare. Tough break in the head pin. 14 after one. Paddington going for the spare here. Can he pick it up? Gave it a ride. The 7-10 won't go. Both, both teams are 10 and 2 today. Uh, New England Flooring came in at 28 and 26, so they're up to uh, 38 and 26. Team USA is 26 and 40. They both on a hot streak. Paddington with a nine, eight, uh, eight rather, 18 after two, and Springfield with a spare four and a nine is at 23 after two. So it's at 23, so a five pin lead early for New England flooring. Second bowl is coming up. We have five bowlers. We bowl two strings. We're in string number one of our third match of five during the day here at the U.S. Invitational. We finished two of 50. We're going <laughs> to, in this game. A lot more to go tomorrow and Saturday. Tomorrow we continue with the teams at 9 a.m. and Saturday 9 a.m. We'll be with you live, nonstop. Aaron Halbadell with a 111 average out of Warren Mass on 36. See if we can pick this up for a spare. Hits it against three of the four. Half foot's to right for Dave Malahan of Saugus Mass. League average of 120 normally. That's been bowling in the league of, of late. He goes by Haji. Okay. 10 for Aaron. Halbadell, he's at 10 after one. And a tough four for Dave Malahan. Four to start. 28-27, one pin lead early for Team USA. Aaron, four in the first ball on 36. Half whistle left. Dave Malahan, tough start for him. Good bid for a spare. Leads up the 10 pin on the right. Two pin on the left. He told me Malahan. Malaran. You get wrong information sometimes. Use Haji. All right. We'll call him Haji instead. Eight box. 18 after two for Aaron Helbedell. And we'll call him Haji. Haji, the four and eight for 12 to start. 36 to 35, one pin lead for Team USA. Sean Sears next to bowl. He'll be on the right for Team USA. He's from Chicopee, Mass. Ed Woodside, the rock. Wooden the gut off to clear out first. He has a 109 average. A fixture out of Central Park Lane. Uh, we got a fun fact for him I'll tell you in just a minute. I love doing that stuff during regular broadcast. You're watching the, net, the champion from Las Vegas Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship. Oh, oh, yes. Sean Sears is your Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship. I'll tell you what, that, that tells you something about his vision. <laughs> he, he can see things that we can't. I never played Rock, Paper, Scissors growing up. Well, you you got to figure out what the other guy's doing. You can tell a little bit by, by, by the motions of his arm and the way his, uh, his fingers are shaped. For a spare, he gets it. Ed Woodside, Saugus Mess, 115 average on the left. Spare to start the first string. Sean Sears. Sean Sears? Sean Sears with the spare. Woody, rock, rocks on our left in green. 
Eddie Woodside on our yep. left, New yep. Florida. Yep. That doesn't look right. Woodside starts off with a seven. Some tough boxes early for New England flooring. They have a four, eight, and a seven. Four pin lead right now for Team USA, but they're on a spare. And adds six to four horsemen left. 16 after one for Sean Sears. Tough split, leaving up seven for Ed. He's got five standing after two. Sean Sears has the one seven pin standing. Most of the right misses at eight box. Spare six eight gives him 24 after two, a seven box. Pair of sevens, Ed Woodside 14 after two. 60 to 49, 11 pin lead early, Team USA. Team USA in the blue, New England flooring in the green. On the left, fourth bowler now. This is JB, Jason Gothier Jr. Father Senior is bowling here also. Is a 115 average. Steve Reno Jr., 120 average, going for a strike here. Will it go? No. Six pin with a wiggle. He's the one, he, he, won, he won a game uh, with a triple earlier up to our left. I, I only noticed because the cheering was so intense. Yeah, here's a 120 league average, does Steve Reno. For a spare, missed it, left, wow. Jason J.B. Bathia Jr. has a 115 league average out of Holyoke, Mass. Ten for both of them. 70 to 59, 11 pin lead still for Team USA. And our first of two strings. Match number three of five today from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire, the U.S. Invitational. Second box, first string for Jason. Thunderous shot, nine, five pin stand stall. Pink kingpin remaining for a spare lead for Steve Reno, Jr. For a spare, off to the right. Gets seven down, three to go, and for a spare, this one goes. 20 plus two for Steve Reno, Jr. The New England flooring team has a 564 average through the first through the first nine, through yesterday's matches. Team USA had a 548 mat, a, average, so as you as you hear, the individual the individuals uh, will switch out. That's how the teams are doing. And no handicap, of course. 19 after two for JB, for Team USA. 79 to 69, 10 pin lead early. One open, one spare though coming up in New England flooring from Steve Reno when he comes up next. Anchor bowl is up now. Jeff Walsh from Rutland, Mass. A 118 bowler on the right on 36. And to the left on 35 is Kevin Davis from Manchester, New Hampshire with a 124 average. Jeff Walsh was our uh, Nico Knockout Doubles champion along with Dan Chenard earlier this year on Spread Eagle Productions. Kevin Davis is the 2019 Lita Lane's uh, Easter 20 stringer uh, champ from 2019. Wow. Did Joey Lister win one of those or one of those bowls and the Chicha won, won the 20 stringer also? Uh, Joey won the, the special edition, uh, the Triple Crown this, uh, this year. It was, uh, it was uh, Chris Merrill who won the uh, Eastern Classic this year. All right, nine box for Jeff Walsh, his first box of the first string. Kevin Davis gets an eight. 88 to 77, 11 pin lead in favor of Team USA early on. Second box, first string, anchor bowlers. Jeff Walsh. Terrific ball. Everybody here is terrific. On the head pin, looking for some action. Gets it a clear. Gets nine. Ten pin standing. It's a pitch for strike. He gets it. Kevin Davis. 18 plus two after two for Kevin Davis for New England flooring. Spare bit here. He gets it. Jeff Walsh, spare. 19 in the ball after two. 98-87, it's 11 pin lead early on after the first two boxes in the first of two strings here at the U.S. Invitational. 
Team USA on top. Balls will switch sides now. Wayne Springfield from Malden, Mass, 118 league average, will start first. He had a spare four, nine, 23 half, first two boxes rather, 23. Head pin hit gets six. Kevin Paddington from Townsend, Mass, 112 league average. Has some more there to help him possibly on 35. He's got the two, four, and the 10. Springfield misses. Kevin missed the object pin. He had 18 after his first two. Wayne trying to clean up here. Gets nine. 32 after three for Wayne Springfield. Kevin Paddington with a 10, 28 after three. 32 after three and 28 after three. 108 to 96, 12 pin lead for USA, Team USA. Springfield on 36. Eight drop. Head pin hit, leaves the corner pin though, the, uh, well, near the corner pin. Six pin standing, two, four, seven on the left for Kevin. Springfield for a spare, missed it. Paddington looking for a spare, can he kick it over? No, chopped out the two pin. Wayne going for a 10 here on 36, missed it. Nine box, he's in 41, 41 after four. And Kevin Paddington with an eight, he's at 36 after four. 116 to 105, 11 pin lead for Team USA. Paul Grant with Bob Lee. 9 a.m. tomorrow and Saturday. Team competition and playoffs are tomorrow. Championship matches on Saturday. Winning team will split $8,000. Head pin hits solid. Will it go for a strike? He gets it. Hodges. Hodges gets it. Tough start. A four and an eight. He gets a strike. Meanwhile, Alan Habedal with a tough half Worcester comes back gets six more he's up the four and the five pin this is for a 10 gets nine Aaron's at 27 10 8 and 9 27 after three 125 115 team USA by 10 but Haji is on a strike here for New England flooring. And they got two other spares coming up versus one for Team USA. Haji locked in, going for a double. Gets nine in the first ball. Three to the right side for Aaron Halbadel. Looking for a spare on strike. 12 up to two, he's at 32 up to three. Looking to go 42 plus. Wood could be a factor here. Can he pick it up? No, the wood got in the way. Aaron comes back with five there or so. Leaving up the one, eight and 10 pin. And Wood was just not having it. 40 after four. Bahaji. The seven box. For Aaron. 34 after four. 132. 133, is it right? A one pin lead right lead. now. We have a lead change. New England flooring up by one. Ed Woodside on 36. Four horsemen plus one. Rock, paper, scissors champs. John Sears on 35. Both open here in the third box, first string. Tough lead there for Sean. Sean's from Chicopee, Mass. Ed Woodside from Saugus, Mass. Ooh, missed it completely. Ed Woodside, can he kick it over? No. 
Sean needs a big out here. Has the one and five, the seven, eight in the back, six and ten. Does well, gets an eight out of that. 22 after three. Two sevens and an eight for him. One pin lead still for New England flooring early in the first string of two. Woodside punches out five. Two, four, seven left, six, ten on the right. Sean Sears has the Caleri. Right in the hole. Sears trying to pick this up. Chopped out the head pin. Head, tough seven there. 29 after four. Ed's calling for a substitute. They're gonna, yep. It's too bad, it's an excellent bowl, but you have a bad start, sometimes you just don't have it and they sub you out. We'll get the replacement in just a minute. That was Ed's call, he was, he was calling for it. Uh, yeah, they call themselves out a lot of times. Catch is all square. Sean Sears had an eight box. He's at 40 after four, 148 apiece. Steve Reno Jr. to bowl now on 36. Through the head pin, three and three lead. He had 24 in his first two. After the spare four here. JB on the left. Nice bid there for the spare. Leads up to seven and 10. Here's a nice shot. Wow, what a shot that was by JB. JB was in hard there. Spare for him. 29 in the ball after three. Eight box for Reno. 32 after three. It's a two pin lead right now for New England flooring. Good hit in the head paint, seven. Seven on the pill. To JB, 35 after, 36 after three. Reno trying to convert the triangle here with the piece of wood, should help him. It does. Steve Reno Jr. 42 and a ball up to four. Can he sweep it over? Not quite. JB gave it a ride. A 10 will give him 46 after four. He's at 45 after four. 120, 174 to 170. Four pin lead for Team USA. Going back and forth early. Jeff Walsh coming up here on the left, the blue, he's over the spare. Kevin Davis up here working on a strike on the right side. Off the head pin, five in the first ball. You make this, you make this, Kev, come on. Jeff. Jeff was five, on the spare. Five, Phil, 24 at the two. Davis on his second ball on his strike on 36. Punched out one, six on the fill, 24 at the two. Chance for a spare, what a shot by Jeff Walsh. Two in a row. 34 and a ball up to three. Tough seven for Davis, 31 after three. 189 to 183, now it's Team USA up by six. And they're working on a spare here. Kevin Davis open here in the fourth box on 36 for New England flooring. Right in the head pin again, but full. Jeff Walsh on a spare, off the head pin, gets five. 39 after three. Davis, punching out. Jeff Walsh looking for a spare here, if he can pick it up. Hit the head pin, but on the outside. Leaving up three. Davis with a nine. 40 after four. Jeff Walsh has a half Worcester plus the seven pin. Seven box, 46 after four. 
201 for Team USA, 192 for New England flooring, nine pin lead for Team USA after the first four boxes in our first of two strings. New England flooring does have a spare in hand though. Team USA is open. Wayne Springfield on the left for New England flooring and the right is Kevin Paddington. Kevin had a 36 in his first four. Off to the right, gets five. Springfield, it's eight, has the nine, 10 pin standing. Piece of wood. Paddington going for a spare. Can't quite get to the 10 spot. Tough piece of wood, doesn't go for Wayne. Wayne had 41 in his first four. Paddington in the gutter, nine drop, nine box, 45 after five. Wayne with an eight, he's at 49 after five. 210 to 200, 10 pin lead for Team USA. And close to a tie, which we consider the spare in hand for New England flooring. Sixth box, first string of two. Solid shot, leads up the 10 pin. Springfield, going for a strike. Four pin wobbles, won't go. Oakland spare leaves, nine drop in their first ball. Paddington looking for the 10 pin for a spare on 36. Hey, he gets it. It was close. Springfield, who needs wood, gets a spare. Back and forth they go. 220 to 210, 10 pin lead for Team USA. Kevin Paddington, Paddington, 55 in the ball up to six. Wayne Springfield, 59 in the ball up to six. Second bowl is right now. Alan Abadell, Warren Mass. On 36. Had a 34 in his first four. Haji on the left for New England flooring. Just gets two in his first ball. He had 40 after four. Spare bid. Comes up one short. Hodge looking to bounce back on the second ball. Leaves up the one and the two pin. Now Bledel for a 10, missed it, nine box. 49. Abel at 43 now, 50 for Haji after five. Six box in the first string. Aaron goes to the right, clips two. Haji has six box on 35 here for New England flooring. Bounces it, half Worcester left. Bouncing back, good shot, leads up the 10 pin. Off to try for a 10 on his third ball. Haji trying to bounce back from a half Worcester first shot. On the head, pin gets to spare! Wow! That's how you do it. 60 plus one after six. New England flooring now on three marks versus one for Team USA. Nine box for Aaron Haldell. He's at 52 after six. 238 to 230. Right now it's an eight pin lead for Team USA, but three to one spares in hand for New England flooring. Third bowl is here, Sean Sears on the right. 109 league average from Chicopee. Who's their, bowl? Who's their third bowler now? Nine drop. Brandon Marks. Brandon, Brandon Marks. Brandon Marks for New England Flooring will fill in now for Ed Woodside. Who, Brandon Marks. And there's a spare for Sean. 15 a ball up to five. Brandon was the uh, 
Brenda was the runner-up in the uh, fall Chicha singles uh, championship to Jeremy Seaholm. Eight box, 37. Jerry Seaholm, Jer Jeremy Seaholm will face off against Corey Packard in the final. The Chicha. Sean, five spare fill, 55 after five. One for a spare, missed it. Brandon, eight down, two to go, going to his third ball. Sean trying to get at least two here. Does. 64 after six. Brandon gets nine. 46 after six. 262, 247. 15 pin lead in favor of Team USA. In the first of two strings here at the U.S. Invitational from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Fourth ball is here. Jason JB from Holyoke, Mass. Fathia Jr. No. Oh, gets a generous hit. Leave another 10 pin for a spare leave. Steve Reno Jr. on 35. Knocks down eight. Five and eight pin standing. JB going for a spare. On it. 55 and a ball up to five for JB for Team USA. And missed it. Good try by Steve. Lead is down to seven. Sixty now. For Steve Reno after five. On the spare, gets four. 59 now after five for JB. Reno. I read that wrong. That's the second time we've seen this now, the seven, eight, nine, that seven, eight, nine, 10 pin. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Picket fence. JB looking for a 10 here, coming up in just a moment. This is for a spare. <laughs> Almost. JB gets the 10. They'll give it 69 after six for Team USA. And a 10 for Steve Reno. 70 after six for New England flooring. It's now 286, 275. 11 pin lead for Team USA. Two marks to one right now uh, in favor of New England flooring, though. Anchor bowl is here, Kevin Davis on the right for New England flooring. On the left, rather, and the right is Jeff Walsh for Team USA. Both of these bowlers were open. Woods out of play. Get a timeout here in a minute. Davis, head pin, gets the seven to fall. More manageable chance here now. I missed the I missed the raffle. What? I don't think they pulled my number. I guys doing. I missed. They, I'm going to ask if they pulled that number at all. Ask them. Yeah. Okay, back to action now. Jeff Walsh, one for a spare. Missed the object pin. Davis, for spare, gets it, nice shot. White, White Kustak was the, retrieved the ball there. And nine box, nine box, nine box for Jeff, 55 up to five, 50 and a ball for Kevin Davis. Through five. Six box coming up here in the first of two strings here. Wood in the gut will have to clear that on 36 before we start.
get this Christmas holiday season. Think of Candlepin gift cards for family and friends. Keep the sport alive. Support your local Candlepin alleys. Candlepin Ball and the gift of giving for Christmas. Jeff Walsh has the Caleri. Davis on the head pin. Splits five. That was in the bonus though, right? Yep, five in the spare. It's uh, 55 now for Kevin Davis after five. For the spare bid, seven stands. Lead is now five. Davis trying to kick it over, no. Third ball coming up for each bowler. Six box of the first string. Nine for Walsh. 64 after six. Eight for Reno. He's at 63 after six. That was Davis. Da uh, Davis, rather, sorry. I said it wrong. Kevin Davis. 304 to 298, six pin lead for Team USA. Wayne Springfield on the right now for New England flooring. Box number seven of the first string. On a spare. Gets the Clary, five fill. 64 he's at, after six. Paddington on a spare, gets nine. 64 after six. Doesn't go for Wayne. Kevin's got a great chance for a spare. Got it with the wood. Two in a row, it counts. 74 and a ball up to seven. Nine for Wayne, 73 up to seven. 323 to 312, 11 pin lead right now in favor of Team USA. And they're working on a spare, Kevin Paddington on the left. Wayne Springfield open here in the eighth box. Head pin falls, will it roll over? Yes, it's on nine. Kevin with a seven, Phil. Up to 81 now after seven on that spare. Triangle chance for another one. Wayne missed the opportunity after stealing nine. For a spare, missed it. It's a tricky shot, the triangle. Give a stat net buffer. 45% with no wood. Wayne Field the 10, he's at 83 after eight. Kevin Paddington goes left for a 990 after eight. 339 to 322, it's up to 17 now. 17 pin lead for Team USA. They have no more marks. One spare coming up here though for Haji for New England flooring. Should cut the deficit down a little bit. On a spare. Off, we get some back action. Seven. In the fill. 68 after six. Brings the lead down to nine. Team USA up. Aji Missed it. Oh. Abadal opportunity missed it also. Nine bucks for Haji. Ten for Aaron. Sixty-two for Abadal. Seventy-seven for Haji. Leads back to 10. In favor of Team, team USA up. Team USA fighting for a playoff spot coming in at 26 and 40. New England flooring at 38 and 26 coming in here. And a third of five matches at the US Invitational here in Lidl Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Strike bid! He's up the 10 pin. Aaron gave it a ride there. Both bowlers, both teams are 10 and 2 on the two matches today. In the hole for Haji. This is for a spare. Wood bounced around. Whoa. Tough break there for Aaron.
Haji gets seven in the box. 84 after eight. Nine for Aaron Alvadell. It's 71 after eight. 358 to 346. 12 pin lead for Team USA. First of two strings. Now third match of the day. Haji in the eight, uh, box here now starting up in 36. Off to the right gets six. Abel down 35 in the blue. Head pin hit only gets four. I'm not paying attention here. Sean Sears is up right now. Yep. Brandon Marks yep. got distracted there. Sorry. <laughs> Not the first time I've done that. You just greeted by uh, Maurice Perry's in the house. Yeah, I know Maurice Perry, friend from church. Uh, almost. We, we, I, I know his wife real well. We played um, Michelle. Oh, what a shot! All that for a 10, 74. For Sean, 55 for Brandon. I know uh, Maurice Perry from, uh, we played a champion uh, basketball tournament. 24 hours straight. Oh, that one. <laughs> Who's for hope? I, I donated to that cause. He didn't donate to me. <laughs> I didn't know you were on it. I know. I couldn't play the last two years. I had knee surgery and then the surgery this year, so I played eight years. Fundraise for nine. Brandon Marks on 36. One ball to go in this box. Sean, trying to kick it over, doesn't go. Brandon gets one. A5, 63 after eight. Sean with a seven, 81 after eight. 375, 363, it's a 12 pin lead for Team USA. All the bowlers are open right now. Yeah. Go to the fourth bowlers now. Steve Reno Jr. On the right. JB on the left for Team USA. JB at 69 this first six. There you go. There's another one, seven tenths off what? Fourth one now today? Or fifth one today? I'm losing count. At least four. 14 the last two days. Steve Four. Reno missed it. Two bait it, but all with wood though. Eight box. 78 after seven. For Steve. JB for the 10 at 79 now after seven. 385 to 371. 14 pin lead for Team USA in the first. One more string to go in this match, and then two more matches after that. Reno is seven, triangle, back door, leaves two. JB trying to use that wood. Reno going for a spare on 36, gets it, nice shot. 88 in the ball after eight. JB falls short by a pin. Ten bucks, 89 after eight. 395, 381, 14 pin lead. However, New England flooring does have one spare on the board. Anchor ball is coming up here. Jeff Walsh on the left, Kevin Davis on the right. Kevin Davis had 63 in his first six, 64 for Jeff Walsh through six. Punches through, five. Walsh, head pin hit. Gets eight, seven, ten, split. Oh, the ten falls. But look at that piece of wood sticking out of the gutter. You know, these three now. It's not a disaster if he hits it hard. If he hits it in play, it's kidding, likely to go kidding, back. Kidding, is there a way to get around that wood somehow? 
We can go from the right side, but uh, gets the wood. It goes. The ball hit it. The wood went one way. The ball went right at the pin for a spare. Jeff Walsh, 74 in a ball through seven for Team USA. The lead's up to 16 for your Team USA. Each team on a mark. Jeff Walsh working on one in just a moment here. On the left, first is Kevin Davis on the right. 71 up to seven for him. Eighth box, first string from Lita Lanes in Nashua. What do you know, another half Worcester. Sparefield goes right, gets six. 16 in the box, 80 up to seven now for Jeff Walsh. Four left for Kevin Davis going to his third ball. Walsh, first spare, off to the right, nothing. Davis, big out here. Gets eight. 79 after eight. Jeff, back door for 10. 90 after eight. 421, 397, 24 pin lead for Team USA. New England flooring does have one spare coming up. Steve Reno Jr. in the fourth bullet will have that opportunity. Final two boxes, first string. Kevin Paddington from Townsend, Mass. Five standing. Wayne Springfield in the green for New England flooring. Punches through three. Paddington for the spare. Off to the right, missed everything. Wayne, right, right idea, got four of the seven. He's up the two, four, seven, left side. Paddington trying to bounce back after missing the second shot. Same place, right side, five, Fox. 95 after nine. Wayne picks up three, he gets eight, 91 after nine. 426, 405, 21 pin lead right now for Team USA. New England flooring has a spare in hand. They need more though to catch the Team USA though. Paddington, 10th box for a string on the head pin, but gets five. Springfield, head pin hit, leaves two. Four and seven. Paddington has the three, six, 10 on the right, four, seven on the left. This would be some shot if he could make this for a spare. Had the right idea, punched out two. Springfield for the spare, missed it to the right. That hurt. Final ball, first string for Paddington. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. That's a balk in baseball. False start in football. He gets nine, 103. And a 10 for Springfield, he ends up with a 101. 104 actually for Kevin. 101 for Wayne Springfield. 425 to 415. The lead is 10. 35 to 415. 20 pin lead. 20 pin lead. 435, 415. Yep. One mark on the board for New England flooring, though. Aaron Halberdell on the head pin. Splits it. 3 6 in the right. 4 pin on the left. Haji. Four horsemen plus one. He had 84 after eight. Nice try by Aaron. He had 71 through his first eight. We're in the ninth box here, first string. A 1-7-10, our fifth time today seeing that one. 19 in three days. Two conversions. Nine for Aaron, 80 after nine. High low jackpot shot here. Oh, he got it! Third time we've seen that converted. No bonus money though. This is not the Don Gillis show. Candlefin Bowling. 94 up to 9. Nice shot. 444 to 425. It's 19. 
19 is the lead for Team USA. Havadel, good shot, splits it though. Has the four and the 10, could give it a ride with the wood. Haji trying to get a mark. It looks good. 10 pin falls, he's got some wood to help him. Has the seven, eight pin on 35. Here's Havadel, can't kick it over. Haji really needs a spare. Takes his time, delivers, and converts. Huge spare for Haji for New England flooring. 104 on a ball in the 10th box. Nine for Aaron, 89 for the string. Lead is down to 18, minus this next ball. And they've got another spare coming up also. Ball in the gutter, I wouldn't the gutter there in 35, they'll have to clear that. Slight delay here. You're watching the U.S. Invitational live from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Thanks for having us. This is our third of five matches today. First of two strings. <coughs> Big fill here for Haji. New England flooring needs this. On the spare, chopped out two, tough break. 106 for the string for Haji, for New England flooring. 452, 432, 453, 432, 21. 21 pin lead for Team USA. Lead is 16. I just updated, okay, so 16. Scoreboard's slow. Yeah, just look over here. Okay. Bob's fast, Bob's computer's fast in the scoreboard. Well, my hands are. I, uh... Third bowl is coming up. Sean Sears on the right for Team USA. He's at 81 after eight coming in here. The final two. Off to the left, gets three. Brandon Marks, third bowler for New England flooring. It's back door. One, two, and 10 pin. Seven fill gives him Phil, not on the spare yet. Missed it. Both bowlers looking at three. Nice nine for Sean. 90 after nine. Brandon trying to get at least two to maintain the deficit. Gets a nine. 72 after nine. Still 16. For Team USA. And they're on one mark. Next bowler will do that. Steve Reno. On the head pin, gets nine. 10 pin remains. For Sean, head pin in here. Seven drop for Brandon Marks. Sean Sears looking for a spare. Gets the wood to help him. Spare in the 10th box, 100 and a ball. Marks to pick it up, missed it to the left. Third ball, hits nine, brings him to 81 for the string. Kamish at Woodside, Brandon Marks, 81 in the first string. 472, 455, right now it's 17, both teams in a mark. Right now Sean Sears has one ball here in the 10th. 100 plus this ball will be his first string total. On the head pin, gets five, 105, first string for Sean Sears out of Chicopee. 477, 455, 22 pin lead. New England flooring on one spare. And that's Steve Reno Jr. coming up here on the mark. We need a couple of more. JB on the right gets five. On the stair, needs a strike, 
Will it go? No. Nine in the fill, though. 97 after eight. JV. Trying to kick it over. Gets two of the three on the left. Closing the gap is New England flooring. Another spare. That's huge. 107 and a ball after nine. Eight box. Big game there for New England flooring. 97 after nine for JB. And the lead is down to 11. And they're on one spare. They need another mark at least probably. They have a chance. JB. 10th box, punches the spread eagle. Reno needs a big fill here. On the head, pin! Seven! Seven fill, 114 up to nine. The lead is four. And a tough punch out of five. Five to go with one ball for JB. The house will go down. The house will fall down here if Steve can make this shot. Can he get it? He does! Oh! What a shot! The house falls down! What a spare! Three in a row! Clutch pulling! Pulling like Larry Bird basketball. The lead is one. 492 to 491. And they got a chance to go ahead here. 124 on a ball. Off to the right, gets five, 129. What a finish, three in a row for Steve Reno. 129 for New England flooring. 104 for JDB on the right for Team USA. And for the first time, I believe in a long time, a four pin lead for New England flooring with two boxes to go. Both upper boxes, Jeff Walsh on the right. Exciting finish here at Lita Lanes of the U.S. Invitational in Nashua. Jeff Walsh on 36. Head 10 gets five. He'll probably need a mark to have a chance to win. Kevin Davis off to the right. Gets some spin. One, two, four, ten standing. Jeff Walsh out of Rutland, Mass. Trying to convert this into a spare. Just missed the object pin, close. Kevin Davis missed it. It's a four pin lead coming into this box. The ninth box of the first string for these anchors. Jeff trying to get at least two, does. 99 after nine. He's at least three, missed it, six. 85 after nine, the lead is one. One pin is the lead. One box to go. New England flooring on top by one. What a game. Jeff Walsh on 36. One pin lead. On there gets eight, a favorable lead with a piece of wood. Kevin Davis, head pin punches. Momentum is on New England flooring side with that drop by Kevin. Jeff rather makes a, a good chance there for a spare. He gets it! He got to convert here. Nice try, won't go. Team USA will win the first string. More, more than likely. Eight box. 93 for Kevin Davis. A clutch spare on the 10th box for Jeff Walsh. They're up by one. So this will add to the total after the first string. What a finish. Tough break for New England Florin. Bounce back. And a nine drop. They win by 10. 520 to 510. A 118 for Jeff Walsh. Hitting his league average. One more to go, 5-20, 5-10, favor of Team USA by 10. I don't know if we can last, Bob, it keeps going like this all day. We might need, we might need to get some relief. Not at all. I'm a trooper.
U.S. Invitational, day three of team competition. 9 a.m. start tomorrow and Saturday. Playoffs start tomorrow late, and then we have the finals on Saturday. The winning team up to eight thousand will win eight thousand dollars. Wayne Springfield on the right for New England Flooring, who had a, who got the lead to four point going to the final two, but came up short as Jeff Wallace got a spare nine to wrap. Starts off with Worcester. Kevin Padgington on the left gets four on the first ball. Uh, Tim Hazerton. Oh, he's up there now? Yeah, he went in for me. Okay, so we have substitute now, Tim? Tim Hazer. Tim Hazer? Tim Hazer is filling in for Wayne Springfield on 35. Oh, Wayne Springfield's bowling right now. I'm sorry, uh, Kevin Padgington, I wrote on the wrong side. Kevin Padgington. Tim Hazer, Kevin Padgington. There's only 133, 30 guys here. You'll learn them all soon. I know. We get these uh, changes on the fly. They'll tell us sometimes. Okay, Tim Hayes are filling in now. It's an eight box. Eight also, uh, nine that for Wayne Springfield. One pin lead on the first box for New England flooring. Lost a heartbreaker in that first string. Came all the way back to take the lead and wanted to lose in the last two. So Hayes had the nine to start. Springfield's on our right. Yep. Spring, that's right, got it backwards. There's a strike. Spare. Spare from Springfield. 19 and a ball to two. Confusing thing is the score the, the, the scores are on the on the opposite the bowlers, at which they are every other every other score. And a nice shot for a 10, 18 up to two. Well I got the scoreboard, the line lineup change threw me off. Yep. Alright, we'll get back on track here. Ball. 18 after two, 19 of the ball after two for New England flooring. It's a one pin lead and a ball for New England flooring. <clears throat> Haji on the right for New England Flooring. Gets five. Aaron Helvedell gets seven on the first ball. That's the one, three, and six remaining. Aaron had a one, had just an 89 in that first string. Haji had a 106. Go over the spare. Nice try. Left the 10 pin. Helvedell punches out one. Ten box for Haji to start the second string. Our final string of this two-string match. Nine for Aaron. 29-27, two-pin lead for New England flooring. They're down eight in the match as we start the second string. Haji for Saugus Mass. Five in the first. Albedell on the head pin. Half Worcester plus one. I've not seen many spares made in this shot, Bob, with the wood on 35. No, okay. Good try, gets three. Good effort. Reminds me of the spare that uh, Rob Linehan made to win the uh, New England Candletons championship back in 2019. Same shot? Yeah, he also had the seven pin in the corner. Nine there for Haji, 19 after two. Aaron Halbadell gets a 10, 19 after two. 38-37, one pin lead for New England flooring, down nine in the match. Okay, we have Brandon Marks on the right. Dan Leggy is in. Oh, Dan Leggy's filling in now. For New England flooring, Dan Leggy. For Brandon Marks. Dan Leggy. Dan Leggy on the right. Punches left, gets five. Sean Sears had a 105 in the first string on the left there for Team USA. Team USA won the first by 10, trailing by one here in the second. Kaleri shot. Dan Leggy. 
Off the bench here. Start the second. Gets three of the five. Sean knocks down two. Dan looking for it. Gets nine. First box in the third, second string. Third bowler. And Sean with a nine after one also. 47, 46. New England flowing up by one. Down by nine. Down by nine in the match. Team USA in the lead in the match. Leggy off to the left again. Gets six though. Here's Sean Sears on 35. He's off to the left also. Gets four. One open mark for New England flooring. Springfield, the lead up ball. There's a nice shot for a spare. Sean Sears. Up to 19 in the ball, up to two for New England flooring. Cutting into that total in the match. Leggy, don't get it. John Sears, John Sears, rather, sorry, I mean the wrong name. They both have great beards. I'm looking the wrong side. Sean Sears, the nine. Leads up to two. But we have that ball coming from Leggy, as well as uh, the number one bowler. Wayne, Wayne picked up a spare, too, on, yep. the, uh, on the half whistle. Kevin Davis now bowling for New England flooring on lane 36, his first ball. So he's going to the fourth spot now. Cross is over. He's two and one. He bowled fifth in the first string. He's bowling second now. JB on our on lane 35 for Team USA. Looking at a tasty 4-7. Davis is just off. JB goes for a spare. In his first box. Second string, 10 plus one. 10 for Kevin Davis. 10 after one. Who's the fifth baller for them now? They, they switched lineups here. Kevin Davis goes from the fifth to the fourth spot. I'll tell you when he appears. We'll find out who the fifth baller is. Kevin Davis on 36 gets five. Spare fill for JB gets four. 14 after one. Dan lives, Dan lives in Franklin, and he has a 123 average, Dan Leggy does. Pulls out of Millis. Kevin Davis, third ball, second box, second string. Nothing doing there. Eight box, 18 after two. JB, after the spare four, seven, 21 after two. 76-75, now Team USA is up by one, 11 in the match. Jeff Walsh on the left, who's the ball on the right for them now? Steve Reno moves into the anchor slot for doing England Floor. Jeff to... Walsh, the captain, will do the anchor duties for Team USA. Reno, who, who bowled fourth last string, is bowling fifth now. Walsh had that big spare nine at the end to win it for Team USA in the first. And they needed that. They were 26 and 40 coming in. Oh. Good try, missed it. Reno coming up a little bit short. Walsh for a spare, he gets it. Picking up where he left off in the first. That was a foul, that was in the channel. That was a nine. That was a nine for, for Steve Reno Jr. Okay. Ten on the ball for Jeff Walsh to start the second string. That huge spare nine in the tenth box of the first string to win it. He was down four going to the final two. But down to one and then to deliver the clutch spare nine. Here's a nice shot. Will it go for a strike? Ten pin holds up. Reno denied. Looks like he's got about uh, 
20 inches the target there. Walsh with a spare. He gets nine on the drop. 19 after one. Two spare nines in a row. It's too bad the spare can't carry over in a 10th box to the next string. And there it is. Nice spare there for Reno. 19 plus a ball after two. Jeff misses it. Missed the single pin for the spare. Gets nine again, it wasn't there. 28 after two, 104, 94, 10 pin lead for Team USA, 20 in the match. But they're open and we have two marks coming up and one here for Wayne Springfield for New England, Tim Florida. Pacer. Bowling for Team USA first on lane 36. Hayes are filling in for Kevin Padgington for Team USA. Blue shirt on 36. 18 in the first two. Looks good there. Eight drop. Tim is another bowler out of Chicopee. Wayne Springfield, seven on the fill. 26 after two. Has the one, two, and the 10 pin on 35. Azer hooked it left. For the spare, will it go? It does! Left to right for the spare. Two in a row for Springfield. 36 of the ball after three. Nine for Hazer. 27 after three. Sensational bowling here today. Every day. Some great shots. 113, 111. Team USA up by two, 12 in the match. Three marks in, on hand though for New England flooring. Tim Hayes on the right, open here. Good hit. It's eight. Springfield on the spare. Four horsemen left, six in the fill. 42 after three. Hayes with a piece of wood, should help him. On 36, looking for his first mark. Can he pick it up? Yes! 37 in the ball up to four for Tim Hazer. Wayne punched through. Didn't want the bonus money, I guess. Had two in a row before that. And in the hole of seven box, 49 up to four for Wayne Springfield. 124, 123, one pin lead for New England flooring. Two marks to one advantage for New England flooring. All right, here comes Haji on the left for New England flooring. On the right is Aaron Halbadell for Team USA. Aaron had a tough 89 in the first string. Half Worcester left. He had 19 in his first two. Haji goes left, gets six. He had 19 in this first two. Comebacker in the hole. Ouch. Haji, can he pick it up? Missed it. Got two of the four. Third ball, big out. Comes back, it's five for a seven box. 26 after three for Aaron. Haji trying to gain. It missed it, got an eight. Picked up one. 27 after three for Haji. 132, 130, two pin lead for New England flooring. They're down eight in the match. Aaron, looking good there, gets eight. Has the seven, nine left up there. Haji, good piece of wood on the right side. That one should behind go, the three, that six, one should 10. Go if he hits the left piece first and hits both pieces. Three, six, 10 on the right, seven pin on the left. Up on it. Aaron getting coaching how to play this on 36. Bob, how do you play this here up well, there? I, I was just thinking that uh, he, ha he has to watch out. That, that, that if he hits it too far down on the front piece, it's gonna it's gonna miss the seven pin. Let's see how he plays it. Good try. Won't go though. He, he had to get it to bounce off of that. This is for a spare off to the right. It goes. Comes back. Gets the other pin. Three pin finally went, but didn't go for the spare. And a 10 for Aaron Halbadell, 36 after four for Team USA, and a 10 for Haji to match him, 37 after four. 142, 142 pin lead 
for New England flooring down eight in the match. Two to one advantage on spares though for New England flooring. Virtual tie in the match. Sean Sears to bowl next on lane 36 for Team USA. Crosses over a little bit and leaves a two and one. He had 18 in this first two. Dan Leggy on the left coming on, filling in. He's on a spare here after a nine first box. Gets the Clary, five in the fill, 24 after two. Can't pick it over, kick it over. This is for a spare, off to the left. Sears for 10, no, eight box. 26 after three. Leggy gets nine, 33 after three. Eight pin lead, 156, 148. The match is down to two. Team USA up by two. Oh, just updated. 156 to 148. Yep, yep, so it's two pins in the match. That's right, in the match, correct. Thank you. You're ahead of me there. I'm usually good at math, nothing else. Spelling too. Anything else is desire is uh, up for debate. You're very quick. Punches through in the second shot. Chance here for Leggy. For the spare. Hooked it. Will it turn oh. around? No, the other one blocked it. Missed opportunity there for New England flooring. Eight for Sean Sears, 10 for Dan Leggy. 10 pin lead, we're dead even in the match. 34 after four for Sean, 43 after four for Dan Leggy. Fourth bowl is coming up. JB on the right, Kevin Davis on the left. JB got a spare four seven in the first two. Ten in the eight, 18 for Kevin in the first two. On the head pin, favorable leaves, spare leaves, four seven. Both JB's got go. some good wood though, too. Can he kick it over? He yeah. does! JB with a spare in the third box, 31 of the ball, off the three. And here's a spare again on the other side. Din, Kevin Davis. 28 in the ball, off the three. Dead even in the match. New England flooring up by 10 in the string. Both on spares here. JB on 36, on the fill. Only four, five. 36 after three. And his fill, he gets seven, maybe eight. 36 after three. Spare opportunity. Can it go over to the seven? Not quite. Good try. Kevin Davis has some wood there. He's got the two pin, the 10 pin. If that wood's adjacent, this might go. Try to kick it over. Won't go. Ten box for JB, 46 after four. Nine for Dan Leggy. I mean, not Kevin Davis. Davis. Kevin Davis, rather, 45 after four. Steve Reno now for New England Flooring. And Jeff Walsh, the anchor bowlers. And now New England Flooring now has the lead in the match by two. They're up 12 in the string. And they have one spare on hand. Well, actually, they don't. They each have one spare. But Reno has one right now. Jeff Walsh on the right, first open here. At 28 to two, nine drop, leaving up the five pin. At a spare nine and a nine. Here's a nine drop in the spare, big fill. 28 after two. Needs 21. 
I think he has to go for the cap on this one. Tough leave. Can he pick it up? What a shot! Capped it perfectly. 38 in the ball. The cap is 3.1 inches wide. Jeff Walsh delivers and a spare. Steve Reno, 38 in the ball. He's got two in a row now. Twenty-one pin lead for New England flooring. Up eleven in the match right now. Jeff Walsh, three nine fills in his last four boxes, including the tenth box, which won it in the first string for Team USA. There's a six fill on the left. Steve Reno, two pins, forty four to three. Walsh for a spare, he gets it, what a shot, incredible. Two in a row, 52 in a ball up to four. Steve misses the object pin there. He'll be open in this box. Nine box, 53 after four. What a match, 227, 205. New England falling on top by 22 and 12 in the match. After losing the first by 10 to Team USA. But the mark situation favors Team USA. They're on two spares and open for New England flooring. Wayne Springfield, top of the order for New England flooring. Almost. Five pin wiggles won't go. Tim Hazer, spread eagle. On the spare fill, four, 41 after four. Tough break. For the spare, he gets it. 59 in the ball for Wayne Springfield after five. And Tim's got a tough out here. Gets three. Eight box, 49 after five. 20 pin lead right now for New England flooring, 10 pin lead in the match. Back and forth we go. Wayne Springfield on 36, working on a spare in the fifth. Misses the head pin, gets six. He now has 65 after five. Tim Hazer, one, two, seven, nine pin left up. First spare, punch two. This is for a spare possibility, off to the left, gets two. Third ball for each bowler coming up. Second final string, about third match of the day. Nine for Wayne Springfield, 74 after six. And a 10 for Tim Hazer, 59 after six. 252 for New England flooring, 227 for Team USA. 25 pin lead for New England flooring. 15, they're up in the match. Haji on the right for New England flooring. Aaron Halvedel on the left for Team USA. Head pin, spread eagle minus one. Open boxes for both bowlers. 36 for the first four for Aaron. Haji had 37 in this first four. Aaron punches two. Haji makes a bid. Can it come back? Whoa, almost. And hey, what a comeback there for Havadel for a spare. What a shot that was. 47 in the ball through five. Nine for Haji. 40, 46 after five for Haji. 261, 237. 24. 14 in the match. Haji trying to get back on track here. Off, spread eagle. I mean, a half Worcester. Half Worcester right. On the fill, nine drop. Living up the seven pin. 55. After 19 box. Down to 15 now. 
Good hit, pin hit. Missed the head pin, rather. Instructed view, still the spare. Two in a row. Half Waddell delivers 65 and a ball up to six. Eight box for Haji, 54 up to six. Now it's 13. 13 in the, in the game. Three in the match. Exciting match here at Lita Lanes at the U.S. Invitational in Nashua, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. We got two more matches to go today, Bob. A whole bunch yep. tomorrow. Playoffs start tomorrow. Dan Lee now on lane 36 for New England Flooring. Punches through the left side. Sears. It's nine down to the five pin. Kingpin with that wood getting the way though. Oh, in the hole. Falegi. You can see. You can see about half the pin. He's got a choice. Oh, missed it. Sean missed it to the left. Tough six there. 49 after five for Dan Leggy. Wasn't there anyway. Nine to Sean Sears. Picked up four pins though. Picked up a few pins there. He's at 43 after five. 10 pin lead, dead even in the match. Team USA won by 10 in the first. New England Florin leads by 10 here in the second. Thrilling match here at Little Lanes in Nashua. Open boxes for both bowlers here in the sixth. Leggy, spare bid, just falls short by one. Sears trying to pick this up, missed it totally. Leggy with a 10, 59 after six. Nice out, gets four of the five. 52 after six for Sean Sears. 285, 274, it's a one pin lead in the match. 11 in the string for New England flooring. Rock'em Sock'em Robots here in this match. Kevin Davis on the right for New England flooring. Left side, JB gets nine. Davis punches through. This is for a spare, missed it. 55 after five. And for the out, he gets eight. 53 for Kevin Davis for New England flooring. 55 for JB for Team USA. Dead, dead even in the match. Team USA really could use this six pin, six points to get in the playoff round of 10 out of 17 teams. Davis punches out. <clears throat> JB, good piece of wood there, could help him. Not a gimme. Davis trying to convert. Oh. And he gets the spare. JB delivers. 65 and a ball up to six. It's a big out here. Eight box. 61 after six. 301, 293, eight pin lead for New England flooring. US, Team USA now has the match lead by two. And they have three marks to none. Phil ball coming up for Jeff Walsh. Steve Reno, spare leave. Three and six pin on 36. Jeff Walsh is on fire. Gets back to her action, gets seven. One, two, and four pin standing. It's at 59 after four. Missed it. They needed that one. Team USA trying to get all six points here. Trying to pull away. Punches through, gets two. 
nine for this, Reno. This is to tie the match. 62. Tie the game. After five, nope. Nine, so 68. A one, a one pin lead for New England four. 68 for Walsh, 62 for Reno, through five. <clears throat> Reno trying to get a mark, punches through three. Jeff Walsh, 68 through five, punches on the right, four. Team USA still has two spares on hand, in hand. Good try there, left up three. Jeff Walsh for the bunch, punches the half Worcester, left, four standing. Third ball coming up for each bowler. Second and final string of the third string of the match. Nine for Reno. 71 after six, and at eight for Jeff Walsh, he's at 76 after six. 319 to 317, two pin lead for New England flooring. They trail by eight to Team USA in the match. Pendulum swinging back and forth, Bob. Bowler switch sides, we're gonna change up our graphic. Seventh, eighth box is coming up here. Two marks for Team USA coming up soon. Nothing for New England flooring. Tim Hazer, one, two, and four left up. Springfield for strike gets it. They needed that one. 84 plus two after seven. Wayne Springfield out of Malton, Mass. And a spare for Tim Hazer, not to be outdone. 69 in the ball after seven. Two pin lead still for New England flooring. Down eight in the match to Team USA. Hazer on a spear on the right. Springfield on a strike on the left. Hazer on 36, gets five. 74 after seven. Springfield for a double! Just missed it, the train just went by. For a spare, clip one. Gets a spare on strike. That's huge. 94 after seven, 104 in a ball after eight for Wayne Springfield. Clutch bowling for the 118 average bowler. Eight box in the meantime for Tim Hazer, 82 after eight. Nine pin lead for New England flooring. Team USA is up by one in the match. Nope, just updated, that's, that's correct. Nine pin lead. On a spare though, Abadell, who got two in a row, gets six. 71 after six. Hodge on the left, open box here at 54 through six. Abadell trying to cash in for three in a row. He gets it, three in a row, what a shot. 81 the ball after seven. Hodge, open box here in 35. Trying to get at least two here. Gets the two, 63 after seven. Reed is down to two on the board. Aaron Halbadell on fire, three spares in a row for Team USA. That tough 89, make it up for it here. We change. Five in the fill. Showing, showing four up there. They keep, it two, they keep track of each ball up there. Okay. The five fill makes it a three pin lead. Haji, second ball, second ball here. He kick it over. Tried it, just missed the seventh. What a try there. Abodell, one for a 10 here. Gets eight. 91 after eight. 
Had three in a row before that. Great bowling. Ten box for Taji, 73 after eight. Two pin lead in the string right now for England. Team USA. Second and final string here at the U.S. Invitational at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Sean Sears in the right and the blue for Team USA on 36. Gets four on the right side. Both boxes are, bowlers are open here. Dan Leggy splits two and two. In the hole. Ooh, tough five for Sean. 57 after seven. Nine box, 68 now for Dan Leggett. It's a big game. Six pin leading the string, down four in the match. Team USA in the lead in the match by four. Yeah, there is a there is an electronic scoring error on the board. Um, team USA's score is three too low, so add three to Team USA's score. Okay. I thought I had this. Sean gets an eight drop. Coming back with six of his own, Dan Leggy. For the spare, gets it. 67 in the ball after eight, he needed that one. Dan Leggy can't convert. Trying to get a 10 out of this triangle. Gets nine, 77 after eight. That means a two pin lead. Two pin lead right now for Team USA. For, 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 sorry, for, for New England flooring. Add three to the score you see for Team USA. And it's a two pin lead for New England flooring. Team USA up by eight in the match. Yes. Fourth ball is here now. JB from let's Holyoke, keep, Mass. Let's keep track of it the old fashioned way now. Drive it frame by frame and bonus ball by bonus ball. He's on a spare. Seven on the drop, seven drop. 72 up to six. Head pin hit for Kevin Davis, solid. 6-10. For a spare, he gets it, two in a row. 82 in the ball. A five, a five pin lead for the moment. And he missed the spare, they five needed that pin, one. Five pin lead for Team USA in this game. And they're on two marks. Versus one for New England flooring right now. It's gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. JB 82 in a ball here through seven. On the spare, get some help. Back door for seven. That puts it up to 12. A nice drop, eight there. Two four pin left up there. Kevin Davis gets 71 through seven for another spare. Oh, won't go, the 10. Wouldn't want the other way. For a spare, he gets it. Needed that one. 81 in, the, in a ball after eight for Kevin Davis for New England flooring and a 10. 99 through eight for JB. 415 to 406, Team USA up by nine right now. 19 in the match. Two marks for, for New England flooring, one for Team USA coming up. So they need to get at least one more mark here. Both, both of these bowlers are open. This is the anchor. Jeff Walsh from Rutland Mass in the right. Steve Reno, Reno both fourth in the first ball and fifth in the anchor spot in the second. Jeff's been on fire, he has 76 after six coming in. He has a nice shot, can it go? It does! Wood came back and knocked the kingpin down. He waved at it as it fell. 81 plus two after seven. For Steve Reno. Jeff Walsh oh, oh. makes a bit of his own. What a try that was. Sensational bowling by both sides. This is for a 10. Nope. 
nine blocks, 85 after seven for Jeff Walsh. Brings the lead down to 11. Team USA in this game, 21 on the match. Steve Reno will take a bite out of that with his next ball. He's on a strike on the left side balls, on 35, but first will be Jeff Walsh trying to get back on track in the mark field. Has some work to do in this one. Reno on a strike. Six and a good piece of wood there. Trying to go spare on strike. Knocks it down to five for the moment. Walsh trying to kick those three over to the right side. Got the three, two wouldn't go. Reno, the spare, spare on strike. 91 up to seven, 101 plus the ball after eight. And the lead is down to one. Clutch bowling for Steve Reno. Jeff Walsh with a now nine. All square. 94 up to eight for Jeff Walsh. All square going into the last two. In the string it is, 10 in the lead for Team USA in the match. Sensational match. Wayne Springfield on a spare here to begin the ninth box. Get six, 110 after eight. Tim Hazer open box here, half Worcester left. Springfield trying to get the match closer. Oh, five goes! Train went by and caught it. And in the hole for Tim Hayes, will lead a big out. 120 and a ball through nine for Wayne Springfield. Now New England flooring leads by six. Hayes will try to work out of this. What a shot! Oh, go. Two to that. Now it's eight. Eight box, 90 after nine. Nice out there. Got six in that third ball. The scoreboard says seven, though. You see 441, it's a 444 right now for officially for Team USA. Wayne Springfield has three in a row, a strike and two spares. Big hit! Just strike! Strike on spare, strike, spare, strike! 130 up to nine, 140 plus two. Tim Hazer punches six on the left. Needs a spare, help their team. Tried it, didn't go. He's at 98 currently. Momentum has gone back and forth. Nine for Tim Hazer, 99 for the string. Team USA does have one more spare, but the marks are in the favor of New England flooring. It's a 19 pin advantage now for New England flooring, plus these fill balls. On the strike, seven in the first ball. What a string by Wayne Springfield from Malden, Mass. They ball in East Boston, I believe, in the league. Balls with Maurice. Nine, one, 49. 149, 101 in the first thing, a 149, 250 for the two. 28 pins. 250 for two. Now. What a string by Wayne Springfield, 149 for New England flooring. That, that is the score of the day here on lanes 35 to 36. Haji on the right, he has 73 after eight. Larry shot. Aaron Halvadel, 91 after eight coming in, open also. Two bonus balls coming up for New England flooring. One bonus ball coming up for Team USA. Haji for a spare, missed the head pin. Halvadel in the hole, could feel the breeze all the way back here. Third ball. Ninth box for Haji, 10, 83 after nine. 
nine to Halberdell. Aaron's at 100 now through nine. What's the lead here, Bob? I have it at 29. In the string? Yep. 19 in the match. That would be, that adds up to me. 10th box, second string. Head pin hit, 7-10 split with Wood. Halberdell, back door seven. Eight, will it roll back? No. One and two for a spare leave. Team USA needs a mark desperately here. They're outmatched two to one right now in marks. It won the first by 10. It's gone back and forth here. Thanks to Wayne Springfield. Good try, didn't go. Wayne Springfield exploded for 149. Aaron doesn't convert. Ten box for Haji, 93 for the string. Nine for Aaron Halvadel, he's at 109. 89 and 109. A 30 pin lead for New England Floyd, coming One, down to the last three bowlers. 198 for Halvadel for two. Wayne Springfield had 74 after six. And he got 75 in four boxes. Incredible. Strike, spare, strike. Leggy. Dan Leggy on the right for New England flooring. Eight, but it has the half Worcester. The wood could help him. Sean Sears gets five in the left. Oh, he gets it. The wood did help him. Dan Leggy for New England flooring, a spare. They've got three spares now. And right back is Sean Sears with a spare of his own. Matching spares, 82 in a ball after nine. It is like watching the Super Bowl here all week long. Leggy on the spare, off to the right. Get some help, back door, gets seven. Sears, head pin. Five, seven, ten, disappointing lead for him, wow. No blood there, but yeah. He's at 89 after nine. Oh, oh no. spare bid won't go. Leggy at 94 after nine, after that fill. This will be the shot of the century if this goes for a spare. I haven't made this one yet. Have you seen it made without wood? On TV. Eight, down two to go. Dan Leggy looking for a 10 here. Off to the left gets nine. 103 for Dan Leggy. Nine for Sean Sears. He's at 98 for the string. A 105 and a 98. Total of 203 for the two strings. Okay, 502 for Team USA. 527 for New England flooring. 25 pin lead. 15 pin lead in the total. Still up for grabs. New England Flooring has one spare in hand as Kevin Davis starts on the right. Has four standing. Tough shot. We'll go. JB on the right. Flips one. And a nine for Kevin Davis. Eight for JB. JB's at 107 after nine. Kevin Davis at 96 after I don't think nine. The scoreboard was right there. I think it's now a 32 pin lead. The scoreboard was wrong before you called. Okay. That one. All right. 25. Okay. It's 30. All right. Yeah. The scoreboard is. Uh, this is slow to pick up. It's yeah. slow to register. Sometimes. Yeah. That's like me on technology. <laughs> 10 Fox, the second and final string of a third of five matches today here at Lita Lanes in Nashua at the U.S. Invitational. For a spare, not quite, good try. This is for a 10. Kevin Davis for the 10, 106. 
93 in the first, 199 two string total. 10 box for JB, 117. And the lead is officially 32. In the string, right? Yep. 22 in the match then. That's what Jeff has to have his eyes on. Boy, Steve Reno uh, working on a spare. This on the, one is close to over. On the right side, 101 on the ball here. Five Phil, 106 after eight. Jeff Walsh only gets four. And for a spin, oh, wow, he pulled it over. What a shot that was. 116 in the ball at the nine. Steve Reno Jr. Jr. Walsh for a spare bid. Won't go. So it looks like New England Florian will take four of the six and go to 42 and 28. Team USA did win the first by 10. We'll drop the, the second string of the total. We'll go to 28 and 44. And they're on the fringe of a playoff spot. 10 out of 17 teams will make the playoffs. 103 up to nine for Jeff. Teams are hugging and shaking hands. Steve gets an eight drop there. On the spare, 124 up to nine. Great sportsmanship in Candlepin Bowling. You can always count on that after a match is over. And another spare, 134 on a ball. They've got a 149 from Wayne Springfield leading off for them and a 134 and a ball here. Could see two 140s. Jeff Walsh with a 118 in the first string. 103 coming into this uh, last box. Eight, 111, 229, two string total for Jeff Walsh. Hit the tripod. Reno, oh, wouldn't have got off to clear that. You have to clear that first. So they're gonna ice him on the spare fill. Six for a 140. It was so close, and then all of a sudden, New England flooring, thanks to Wayne Springfield, and now Steve Reno, they pulled away. Oh, look at that. And he got a strike to wrap it up. 144. 144, we have 149 for Wayne Springfield, and 144 for New England flooring for Steve Reno Jr. He had a 120. Uh, it was a 595 string, the best of the day here on lanes 35 and 36. What a match that was. And we have two more matches to go here at the U.S. Invitational in Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Paul Graham with Bob Lee. We'll wrap it up now and come back in just a few as teams put, switch lanes. Put up that graphic and I'll say goodbye. Congratulations to New England Flooring. We'll see you on the lanes.